Hello people, I hope you all are doing great. Welcome to the channel. And yes, I am back with another topic and it is the one of the most important topic in talent. So topic is how to write if else condition in talent jobs. You know, talent uh, open studio for data integration is driven from Eclipse and it is based on Java, right? So how we write if else condition in uh, Java classes? First check that, okay? This is the syntax that we write in java classes i am assuming that you are aware of the syntax okay so now moving back to our job if you want to write that same syntax if else condition that we write in java java language or java code then we have component related to t uh, java that is t java t java row t java flex you can use uh, you know any three uh, components to write the same syntax if you want to compute on okay but you know T map is for your transformation in ETL, right? So we basically use T map, uh, you know, for for our conditions, for our if else conditions. So it is good good practice. Why to include another component in job when we can uh, already do so much with T map? So let's just check out. Check out. I'm going to operate on salary. My, you know, scenario is if salary is greater than 80,000, then just print that. Yeah, it is needed for text computation. Otherwise, not needed. Okay. Uh, this is this was the time of text. That's why I took this example. Okay. So, I need to work on salary column. All right. So, it's a clear, right? So, okay. Uh, did I show you the input table? Okay. So, this is my input table. Okay. I have four columns. And this is my salary column. So few people have less than 80 and few people have more than 80. So working on this, I need in column, uh, I need a new column in which I, uh, I should have contained like yes or no. Okay. We can write true false also with a different, but I have first taken the data type of this field as a string. All right. So let me just do with this string and then I will tell you how to do it with Boolean. So in the... Uh, but one of the best practice, if you want to ever compute something in Tmap, always do with a variable. Okay, then use this variable in your output column. This is one of the best practice. Now, I want to compute on the salary. So, I will just double click it and it will be here. Okay, now, my condition is row one dot salary. Okay, should be greater than 80,000, right? So, this is my condition. Like how we write in if condition. So, this is my condition that I have written here in my talent job. My condition is done. Okay. So, whatever data is coming from this row, if it is greater than 80,000, now how to write, you know, if, uh, uh, you know, uh, statement and else statement. So, question mark. Okay. So, before question mark, like this is before question mark. So, it is your condition. All right. And after question mark, the first value, okay, that will be your true statement. Okay. So, if this condition is true, then you print this statement or uh, your run this statement. Like text, yes. I am just, this is text status field. So, yes. Okay. So, if this condition is true, then use this value. Okay. Operate this value. Uh, work on this value. Otherwise, means else. Else condition. So, for else condition, we use colon. And then our else statement. Okay. So, if my salary will be more than 80,000, it will print me yes. Otherwise, it will print me no. So, before question mark, it is my condition. After question, just after question mark, it is my true statement. And after colon, it is my else statement. Okay. All right. So, let's just check that. And uh, this is my string type value returning because I included the my statement inside double inverted comma. So, it will return me string value, right? String result. So, let me just drag and drop here my variable got here so it will show me the result okay so salary will be eight, um, greater than 80,000 then it will print me yes if it is less then it will print me no so salary is 56,000 okay so no salary is 82,000 yes okay I hope this is very clear to you so this is the way we write if else condition in the 
talent jobs. Now, if I want to convert it into Boolean, as I told you, I will tell you that also Boolean. So it will accept Boolean value only, right? So this, this field accept Boolean value. But if I use this variable right now, it is returning me string type value. It will not accept it. So I need to convert this also as a Boolean value. Okay. Now inside this, I need to change this also. So if it is uh, satisfying the condition, print true. Otherwise, false. I hope this is very simple to follow. If you have any doubt, you can comment in the comment section. Okay. I will be devoting back as soon as possible. You see, true and false. In, for true false, you don't need double inverted comma because this is of Boolean type, not a string type. I hope it is clear. We can use nested if else, else also in same way. I will tell you in later videos. Okay. Uh, so thank you for watching this video. Keep learning. Stay happy. Bye-bye. Take care.